What's up, beautiful people? So, it's another week. I'm at my little apartment in Thailand. Uh, yeah, and I, God knows how you found this video. Maybe it's on Twitter, YouTube, through my newsletter, through my personal website. God knows, I don't know. But in any case, my name is Alex. I run a half a million per year business uh, and my with 90% profits, like a tiny business. And my goal is in the next three months or so to scale it up to one million per year, which is has always been my goal. Uh, and during that that time, like I'm almost taking notes every day. I assume you do as well. But what I really try to do is I want to take these notes and share them with you. So in that way, you know these learnings. You know they could be fucking valuable like uh, Alex from three years ago or two years ago or even one year ago would binge watch all these videos uh, so yeah that's why I'm recording these maybe they're interesting and uh, for you as well you can have an inside look of all my learnings towards a million per year tiny business okay so this is from the past week current revenue is around half a million still there uh, I haven't been doing a lot of marketing lately because I'm just uh, sorting out the back-end stuff of things but having said that, let's go into the notes. So May 9th, 2023, entrepreneur life. So in business, I like to aim for peace, you know, uh, but I remind myself to embrace war also. So there's some points where everything is just so smooth. The market is good. You're getting clients. Usually, typically what I have found is there is a lagging effect between the marketing you do and the customers you get i think i don't know why since funnels were invented people tend to think that people just go through a funnel but in reality i think is the consistent marketing uh, you know along the months or even the years that the yield results and some months like you're killing it and you think oh what i'm doing is the right thing but in reality, what is happening is that the hard work of the previous months when you were stressed because things were not going well are now resulting into clients. So it's a really fucked up thing where you go through peace and war, where in peace times things are going great and you're not working a lot. And then because you're not working a lot, then that brings war time. Or sometimes it could be an external factor, like, uh, you know, like it's unavoidable, right? It could be breaking changes new competitor, you know, you have a surgery or you just lose motivation. But what I always try to remind myself is that, okay, I aim for peace, but I should always be prepared for war as well, because this is the life you have chosen. You know, just remind yourself that all your peers and all the people you admire also go through this daily as well. You know, we're all fighting entropy every single day. Things are breaking everywhere and there's shit in every garden and in every business and in every life. <laughs> so that's the first note of the week, right? The second note of the week is from May 10th. It's called the new rat race. And this is something that I'm thinking about a lot lately. And half of what I've written here is half of the days I want to devote my life to business and keep growing business or businesses, plural, until I'm 80 plus, you know? If you, if you watch Succession, that show, you know, like Logan, he's in his 80s, still killing it, still going after it. Some days I feel like that. And the other half of the days, I just want to fuck off, get off the grid and just stop this rat race, you know? Like, what am I doing? I have enough money. I don't need more money. Why am I setting these goals? Why do I want a million per year? I don't need to get to a million per year either. Uh, so there's a fine balance always between these two states of mind the i want to achieve and the i am content and paradoxically i'm afraid that the new rat race is trying to run your own business and become a millionaire that has even though its roots are in escaping the rat race it is becoming the new fucking rat race so if you're not careful by escaping one rat race of the nine to five corporate world you end up going into the new rat race, which is building a business, moving to Dubai and all that bullshit, you know? Uh, so that was the second thing. May 11th, flying humans to Mars. Okay. 
So this is a note where it says, treat whatever you do with the utmost of respect. That way you will become a pro at it and fall in love with it. And I, I think I run a very boring business, honestly, like I truly believe that. Uh, because, you know, I, I'm not building rockets and I'm not building electric cars or anything like that. What I'm doing is I'm sending emails. That's what I'm doing. I'm sending emails. Like, it's not rocket science. Uh, but I try to treat sending cold emails and analyzing their responses and the tracking different metrics and helping my clients close deals even multi-million dollar deals, as if I am building rocket ships or electric cars. Like I treat it with the utmost of respect. And that way, that is twofold. Number one, it's a reflection. It makes you feel better because it makes you enjoy more what you're doing. And secondly, when you do that and you become a pro, you can see the science in everything. So that's another little thought whatever you do even if it's a fucking boring thing and you've done it every single day for the last five years treat it as a science you know treat it as if you're sending humans to mars okay may 12th trust and sales so this last week i jumped on a sales call for the first time ever this is worth 3k per month i put from a prospect that found me solely from Google, right? They had not seen my Twitter, they had not seen, they had not read my blogs, they had not listened to any podcast interviews on me or anything. They did not know me at all. They just found me on Google and had this, we had a sales call. And I realized how spoiled I am. Because usually people, they jump on a call with me, they already kind of know me. Like there's a kind of parasocial relationship going on there. Uh, and this was just plain cold. And I had so many objections. Like they were asking things like, why should we trust you? And how are you different to everyone else? And what can you guarantee us? And how do we know that this actually works? And you're not going to run off with the money? Like it was crazy. And I was thinking, oh my God, what? Is this how difficult it is to charge people for money if they don't trust you? So having trust when you're charging a lot of money is the ultimate leverage point. Like people don't care as much if you, and I went through this when I hired my VA. Like I don't care if my VA, my personal assistant is the smartest person in the world. All I care about is can I trust them and are they competent? And I think it's the same with any high price sales. Like trust is the most important thing in the world. And I have realized that I have been spoiled. And I have a crazy advantage and I'm so grateful for that. Now, May 13th, price increase. I recently, as I just said, that was like a 3K per month uh, plan. And that is because I recently raised my prices from 2K to 3K. Uh, and I saw no change whatsoever. People still converted. And, you know, like the, the typical bro advice is, oh man, you went too low if they didn't say yes. But at the end of the day, I, I want to feel good about the price that I'm charging. Uh, and, you know, like 3K I think is justified, like with the quality of course that I can get them. And the conversations they can they can have and the deals that they can close uh, but I want to improve my service even more and then raise my prices again I, I am all for raising my prices I've raised my prices from $29 per month to 3,000 like a hundred times a hundred X uh, by adding service and stuff like that but uh, I'm all for raising prices but I don't want to just raise my price because I can you know I want to improve stuff before i want to feel good about what i do so may 14th uh this note is called what if you 10x your price and this is a little thought experiment that i love playing with and this is partly taken from i think his name is brian chesky but i'm not sure is the founder of airbnb 
and he says what would a seven star experience feel like at a hotel or at an Airbnb and uh, my variation of that is what would my service look like if it cost 10 times more so in my case what would the cyber leads experience look like if it cost 30k per month which is an astronomical amount of money right but what would it look like uh, and I'm not going to go through all the things that are for me uh, but I did go through them and then the next question you should ask for yourself is okay why don't you do these anyway and then merely double your price or just increase your prices or just improve your fucking service you know so yeah that was it and the last note of the week is called boring business exciting life um and this is like you know in tech every year Every year is like a dog year, right? Like so many things are changing every single year. Uh, one year you have crypto, the other year you have AI, the other year you have, I don't know, fill in the blank, whatever, right? Uh, and sign the object syndrome is very real. And I, I am pretty good by, na I think it's also by nature. I'm really good at focusing on one thing. But, you know, of course I'm fucking human and I also get sign the object syndrome sometimes. But I... I try to analyze like why am I getting signy object syndrome and usually it's because I want to find something to be excited about like I'm excited about this new technology let me do something with it but what I try to remind myself is my goal in business is not to be fancy it's just to make money and any other goals that I have I don't want them to be business related I don't want to be monodimensional and just be a business guy and that's it. I have five businesses. I don't want to be that guy. My motto is, at the moment, right? I could change in the future, obviously, right? But at the moment, is boring business, exciting life. So do something boring, make money, and then have an exciting life that is fueled by your business. And set the goals for your personal life, not the other way around. So what I'm going to do is just, just going to stay in my lane again, keep building and do cool shit in the real world. And that's my, that's my goal. So I hope you enjoyed this. If not, let me know because I don't really enjoy doing these. But yeah, uh, love you guys. See ya. Bye bye.